With Chase Elliott, Chase about to make your 100th start at Michigan coming up. That's, I mean, it's hard to believe, but it's not hard to believe. Can you, you know, take me through the ride of 100 races so far? How's it been being in the Cup Series? Yeah, it's been uh, kind of hard to go. I didn't even know that, so that's news to me. Um, yeah, it's been, I feel like up and down a lot of, you know, we've had some great opportunities over the years. I hate that we haven't capitalized on, on some of the things that, that we've had, um, you know, handed to us at times and right there in front of me. But, um, you know, that, that's kind of a part of the learning process and been some good times, some bad times, and really have learned a lot about myself and about racing in general in my almost 100 starts. So uh, hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully it gets better from here. So, I mean, you hinted to the numbers a little bit, but as of Loudon, 27 top fives in those starts, 47 top tens. That's kind of incredible to just think about. I mean, you've, you've been there that many times and have that many consistent finishes. I mean, what does that speak about you and, and your race team? Yeah, I mean, it, we've had some, some great runs and we've had portions of seasons that have been really, really good. You know, I look at the last you know, the last 10 races throughout the playoffs last year, and that was probably the best I've ever run in my career. I know there was no win or anything to go with that, but man, we had some great weekends. We finished second, I don't know, like four or five times in the last 10 races, you know? So, um, you know, we've had pace and, and had things that you have to do. We just haven't put it all together. I haven't put it all together, whatever. So um, hopefully we can break my O for number before we get to 100, but if not, we'll go from there. Well, you mentioned that, you know, breaking that Ofer number. When you win, it'll be your first win. It'll also, the next win that comes out of Hendrick Motorsports will be Rick's 250th. How much more special would that make it? And, you know, I know you're hungry, but does that kind of motivate you to win more? It does, and I think, I think more than anything, even beyond the 250 number, I mean, if you've contributed somewhere to get to 250, I think that's pretty special. Um, so, you know, even if it is one that got you to 250 or whatever, uh, I think that would be pretty neat. So, yeah, it certainly drives me to want to do do well. But I think, you know, beyond that, I think our struggles and our lack of consistency and some of the things that we haven't done so well um, drives me to want to go win more uh, just because I want to break out of that and, and get back to running like I, I know we can. Now, talk about the playoff bubble a little bit. You guys are fairly good on points right now, but all it takes is a couple of those other guys to win a couple races, and you guys are sitting there on the cut line. What's the pressure like around that, or do you guys not worry about that week to week and just go out and do what you have to do? Yeah, we try not to, you know, let it consume us, but, it, you know, in the position that we're in, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, have been in this position for the, the, my first two years, you know, right there kind of at the edge. and. It would be so nice to have a win and be able to you know, not have to worry about it and there's still some opportunity to get that but um, yeah you can't let it consume you but you know I think for us we're in a position right now we're actually racing our teammates for the last couple spots so um, you know that's a tough thing to do when you're racing them because you know we, we try to not hurt one another and you know show each other respect on the racetrack as much as we can but you know it comes down to it we gotta we gotta earn what we can get so um, you know, I think that's the toughest part right now is just racing the guys that, you know, you work with each week. All right, let's go back to last year. Martinsville, probably not a fond memory that you have, but it's a place where a lot of your fans check off where you kind of found your identity. What do you remember about that night and how you reacted? And, and if you could go back and do anything different, would you? I would try not to get crashed, I think, would be the, be the first thing. But, you know, I think that, you know, in, in a lot of ways, um, I mean, I don't really know what I would have done differently if I had known that that was how it was going to go. But um, you know, I, the biggest thing I took from that night, you know, was actually not the melee and all the all the mess that went on after, but uh, was just more how we ran. And, and Martinsville, if, if people remember, has been one of my worst tracks uh, really leading up to last year, really that race. Um, and I don't know, something kind of clicked for me that weekend. Um, I don't know that it'll ever click like that again, but. For whatever reason, I uh, felt really good. Had a you know just a good practice. I felt good about our car. We qualified really well and got in the race, and things were just kind of working and, and led a lot of laps and you know put ourselves in a position. So to me, that's the most important thing. You know, yes, it you know what happened happened. It's over with. But uh, how we ran, you know, was encouraging at a place that I put a lot of effort into trying to get better at. And uh, you know, just kind of prove that if you do kind of go and put the effort in to get better at a place that you're terrible at, it, it can turn around and 
Um, we ran better there because of it. I appreciate it.